Our next section is also a very cool section. It's going to be the contact us section, okay? And we will learn a few things here, how to use and set the map widget, and also how to create a form with the form widget. And at the end, we will learn how to hook this menu item to this section and also this button here to the contact us section. Very cool, we have many things to learn. Let's move forward and start by going to our element or edit screen. And here we will need to create a new section. So let's create two column section. We won't duplicate the one above. We're just going to create one from scratch, just like so. And the first thing we can see that there is no padding to our new section. And all of our other sections has a padding, as you can see it over here, between the columns and the section. So let's just copy the style and we will paste the style only on this section. And we can see immediately that the padding was added to our new section. Now let's drag the map widget into here. And the map widget is pretty limited. We can set up the height of the widget, just like so. And we can also play with the zoom and zoom in or zoom out to the location. Exactly like that. You can also, of course, change the location. I'm just going to write a generic street, 123 Main Street in New York. Excellent. And again, under the style, you won't have too many options, just maybe some CSS filters and that's it. We can pretty much move forward to our right column. And here we will need to have a title and a divider. So let's duplicate the title and the divider and we'll drag them both to the right column. Just like so. Excellent. And we have a couple changes to make here. First of all, we will need to change the text to contact us and align the text to the left. Exactly right. And this one also, we will align it to the left. And we can see the 10% here, it's very small because it's 10% only of the half of the page. So let's just double the size to 20%. And now it looks pretty cool, pretty good. And now let's add the text underneath the divider with our business details over here. Let's just drag a text editor. Excellent. And here we can type in our content or we can just copy it from our demo site. And we have two options. We can either paste it here under the visual tab and it will paste it with the CSS rules. As you can see, it's already styled. Or we can switch to the text tab, paste it here, and then it will paste it without the style, which is better because we can style it the way we want. So let's just keep it unstyled and style it ourselves. We're going to bold this location and office hours and phone number. We can also go to the style tab, change the text color to black. And under the typography, we can even reduce the line height to one. And then all the lines will be closer to each other, just like so. And it looks really good. I like it. And the next thing we need to do you just add a form that we'll talk about in the next lecture. For now, let's just update what we accomplished so far. Visit our website again, and we can see that it starts to come together pretty nice. In the next lecture, we will create the form, and we'll hook up this section to our links.